what maven file so for that maven file is also ready at my end so this is the maven file I'm just going to copy it going to demo and I'm just going to add it so this is the palm XML file now I am going to open it for you so guys let's please oh there's an issue here coming over here yeah okay so it's here you able to see okay so this is a common maven file which has the plugins if you'll see the plugins uh, you guys can also pause the video at later point if you uh, if I scroll up and down and you miss something so I would cover the whole screen that I would make sure so you can pause and get the whole content so you will see the plugin there is a com laser code dot jmeter jmeter maven plugin so it's a version execution jmeter test there is a phase goal configurations the common configurations nothing specific nothing different in that now do you the different thing is that here is the property file users so if you will see this is the users and this is the users ramp up ramp up ramp up loop loop count so here we are creating the attribute tags basically so remember users ramp up loop url and suite come back to your jmeter now suite url all right users ramp up loop got it let's come back here oh yeah now this file is included test plans hyphen jmeter maven dot jmx this is where your jmx file would be looked for but for now if you would see jmeter jmaven test plans so if you will come here sorry if you would come here wait a minute where is this suite config yeah so if you'll see that there is a test suites hyphen and there is a file name dot csv which is actually which would be actually your gmx of test plan i would explain you how it is going to be executed just just forget that now in this demo folder we have a, we have made changes into our old demo jmx and made it like this which we have just seen we have added this form.xml over here now you guys must have known that every maven has its own folder structures so now we will be creating those structures as well over here so now i am going to do some src over here inside the src I would have the test resources and all so all those things I have already done here if you'll see the SRC test jmeter test plans inside the test plans basically you have the jmeter maven and the other jmx that you can put anyways so that whatever jmx you want to execute you can execute that inside the resources I have put the CSV files all right so this is the mavenize structure which I have used so I am just going to copy it and paste inside the so just to save our time first let us remove it and just I am doing this so if you will see inside this SRC test we have a jmeter we have a test plan and we have the jmeter jmx file jmeter maven so this jmeter maven jmx does not need to put inside at this location we can simply remove it all right so it should be kept inside this folder all right so so as to comply with the test file included attribute test plans jmeter maven dot jmx so this is just the structure only the structure jmeter test plans jmeter maven all right now inside the resources if you would see 
If you'd come up here, SRC test, and inside the resources, in there is a test suite, and there are the CSV files. So now when you would come up here and you would see the test suites and then there are CSV files and these CSV files we would give from outside that I would show you later. So inside the test suites it would look for the CSV files but what expression is it? GMX relative pause. So if you would come here in the global controller and you would see the resources and directly back to back. So if you would see resources, you got the idea? Yeah. So this is the structure that we did. One more thing, the last thing that we need to add at this point over here, and that is a folder just naming it JMeter Maven, which would be nothing, just a target. So even in, if you, if you would see here, which I have already in my already framework, which I have created, JMeter, Palm, SRC, the same structure now we have built over here, JMeter, Palm, and SRC. The target folder will auto-generate it after you will execute the command from outside, from the command line. So that's okay. So now everything is up, I believe. And what JMeter Maven is, you can simply see that there is a target, name, version, all right? So we're only giving that artifact ID. So we just did that. Now things are okay, pretty good. Now what I what we are able to do now? Can you guys see? So just to show you again in the SRC, in the test, in the GMeter, we have test plans. Inside, we have the GMX. We, what we have changed inside the resources test suite, we have the test suite files, which we would give and pass from the outside. All right. So now, how should I execute now from the UI? Absolutely not. Then from where? Please guess what we are going to do. Yeah, so what I am going to do, I am going to, let's say I'm just removing it. What's up, my laptop is getting confused, I guess. So I'm just doing this. I am on the root folder, all right? I am on the root folder now. And now here is the thing. I would execute this command. Please notice this command. MVN verify, which is the Maven. MVN verify, verify is a target. It's nothing. Oh, I closed it. Just see it from here. See this phase, phase verify, all right? So the command is M of MVN verify, D users, D ramp up, D loop count. C, T users, T ramp up, T loop count. Okay? And what it is? This users, number of threads, ramp up, ramp up period, loop count. How many times do you want to execute it? Okay? Now come up here. Oh, in the command URL decroy D suite smoke test. See here. Test suite smoke test. We are passing this. How we are passing this? Because what we did in the test suite config, we are doing test suite p suite dot csv. We are only passing this suite from outside. So automatically it would take up that csv and it would look up all the way behind. So it's an intelligent enough to understand it. So d suite smoke test. Okay, you can also give the other suite over here. You can come up here and you can say, uh, I want to execute test case, which was the other suite if you, were, you would have noticed. See this one. 
there were other suite files so whatever suite files you want to execute you can simply execute that for now i am going i'm interested to execute this smoke one so i would ex execute that smoke test right now and this dd url bicroy what it is it is the same it's nothing more what it is in the global variable if you will see app url p url url you are passing from outside dot com it would take it would be it would append it automatically so bicroy dot com got it so if you'll see what's happening man d url bicroy so for now let me first execute our test case and i don't want to give it two i am just giving it the loop count one okay guys please notice that in this demo there is no target folder for now but now when i am going to execute it hope for the best so the performances are being executed so the java application file has been opened up here just ignore that that's nothing that's that's some other work i was working on and it's over and you will see the build success their test run one and zero results so when I go if you will go back here you see that in the demo floor there's a target folder if you will come up here there are test classes if you will open it the suites and all gmeter you will see the report over here you can see that this is the there is a report over here you can open with uh, chrome now see the load test results your test case one has been executed navigate to url navigate to app change to english change language click login every keyword guys remember these were the keywords but remember your only one test case has been executed i'll show you the csp file what we are executing is smoke test src test resources test suites smoke test please open it for me numbers See, navigate to app, change language, navigate to login, sign up. This test case executed. This test case didn't execute. Can you answer why? Only sign up, up to sign up this executed. Please check again. Up to sign up it executed. And the other test case didn't execute. Why? Yes. It's very simple. Because you haven't included the loop, increase the loop count. You can increase the loop count too. And it would take the row two. Remember what we did? Please remember this. We are giving loop from outside two, and in the test suite config, what we are saying recycle on UF, stop thread on UF. If we would expand that, it would take the second row as a whole. If we would not, it would not take. So we can do this sorry where am i we can make it forever but then we had to make that false so let's let's not go deeper into that i mean just just see because we want to execute test case number two so we can we should give two or if you would give three there would not be any error the reason is because okay we would we would see okay just first see we are executing with loop count two Uh, guys you can comment on the uh, video or anywhere if you want a uh, few more details to be covered up uh, I may have missed few things I know that it's a and it has been a long video I, I believe so that you guys uh, could have get bo got bored I guess but uh, uh, for education purposes uh, I guess this is very good uh, to understand so see this, this is executed now so I'm just coming here and uh, refresh the report. So see execution executing test case two. But if I log out, the, all the test cases have been executed now. Now, this is the final call, guys, for this uh, session. What would happen? And there is a lot 
that we would do later in this framework in order to improve this framework there would be a lot of things that we would do we would also introduce artificial intelligence in this framework this was just the basic advanced concept of the first hackathon of the first meter so this is the last question that i would want you guys to answer what would happen if i make it three because there is no third row inside the test suite file so it would throw the exception or not find out guys this is something what i have already explained but hope if you remember you would understand what's going on it's very important concept that i am going to tell you because you are giving three passing three from outside but there is no third row available inside so it should be a stack overflow error but it would not as you see and if you would see the report there is no abrupt behavior here you know why it happened yes you guessed it right because in the test suite config we told that a stop thread on end of file false you can could have made it true or somewhere oh, one second but recycle on uf it's true and allow quoted details false so it would not take that up like that so it's very simple just please follow this uh, tutorial you guys can pause the video and uh, get the whole content out of it uh, uh, please comment out if you want any more information on this existing on this uh, active tutorial uh, I would add add up more and I would go more deeper and deeper so uh, remember at our first uh, at the start of our uh, 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 sharing video uh, the thing that I have opened up I have started with it was the uh, where is that it was the slide where is the slide I just forgot man where is the slide yeah so guys this was what's next so in the next coming videos and series we will be extending this framework what we have just built with a lot of new capabilities and gestures and you guys would have a lot of fun to go deeper and deeper into that also we would discuss about the performance workload modeling and analyzing the test reports because if you would see here if you would see here the report this is very basic report but still it gives you some average min max time so there is a lot there are a lot of performance testing metrics available and attributes available like throughput and all that other stuffs so for that matter of fact uh, we would uh, we need to understand those concepts as well in order to predict how our application would behave if we want to if we want if we are planning for a campaign to take off for a campaign to take place at some festive seasons around and so uh, moving back to the slide here so ah uh, so and 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 guys i would request you for the performance workload modeling uh, i would take up the concept of throughput controller a lot in order to uh, bring the background of distribution test loads so uh, it would be better if you guys take a take a take the first uh, look at that uh, and grab the understanding on your own so it would be better uh, it would be a better feel for you as well when you would see the difference uh, and the deviation concepts uh, across the test groups and all and hopefully that would be a good uh, 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 meetup as well so just wait for the second meetup thank you very much for your time uh, it means a lot to me that you guys have listened that mm, a long waited uh, uh, video. Thank you very much. God bless you all.